This week we are still in Columbia, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. We got some cool stuff coming up. We learned a new hobby yes. that we can do anywhere on the road. That's right. We visited one of the most historical NASCAR tracks yep. on the circuit back in the day. And we took Scout down to a cool place inside of our RV park to meet some new friends. Yeah. <laughs> it all starts now. All right. Here we go. Today we are at Seven Oaks Park in Lexington, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. It's like just outside of Columbia, South Carolina. Yeah. But today we're going to share with you our newest hobby. Our newest pastime. Which I think is a really cool hobby for any RVers or travelers. Yeah, because they're uh, everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's really cheap to do. Inexpensive. Yeah. And fun. And you get exercise and we're talking about disc golf. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to play disc golf. We've only played a couple of rounds so far yeah. ever. Uh -huh. And so when I say it's it's an inexpensive thing because it our initial investment was like 70 bucks Yeah, 35 each 35 for a starter kit of three discs. You need the three discs because they all do different things. things. Yeah The little uh, thinner disc is your driver mm -hmm. It's thinner so it'll go way farther. Uh, yeah, however, it hooks harder. Oh, it hooks, it hooks harder. Right. So you gotta be careful with this guy. It's a hooker. Yeah <laughs> Then you got your mid-range and you can see that it has a little bit bigger of a lip there yeah. which creates a little bit more drag yeah so it doesn't go as far but it doesn't hook as hard not as hard a little more accurate mm -hmm. so that's for your your middle range shot accurate if you're a good per throwing person <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then you got your short range or your putter and you can see that this one has a lot of drag so it's got a big lip on it but pretty accurate you yeah. can throw it pretty straight so this is for your short short range shots right into the basket now when you get out there you'll get to the T yeah which is either just a piece of dirt or a piece of concrete, concrete. that you have to stay on yeah. for your initial shot and at the marker it will tell you what the par is mm -hmm. how many shots it should take should you <laughs> to get into the basket I don't think they based it on the average person <laughs> average meaning me yeah <laughs> And the hole is a basket with chains, chains to catch it. To it's a yeah, deflect it and catch it into the basket. Mm -hmm. um, there's always some obstacles on the course, mm -hmm. trees, sometimes creeks, yeah. sometimes, sometimes man-made objects. <laughs> yeah, so it just it just kind of all depends on. But it's fun. But it is. And so we got the uh, the U Disc app, mm -hmm. and the app is really cool too. So the app will tell you. Where all the courses are at it will tell you uh once you sign into that course yeah you can keep score on a scorecard yeah which is convenient yeah it'll give you like a google maps image of the course to kind of help you navigate from hole to hole yeah and um it has reviews on there so people who have played the course in the past can tell you what they think if it's good for beginners intermediate or pretty hard yeah and it will also tell you the rating anywhere from zero to five mm -hmm. so the higher the rating obviously the better the course and there are some pay courses yeah that you can pay to go to we haven't gone to any of those yet no. but again it's very inexpensive mm -hmm. because you they're all, they're in like parks all over the place everywhere it's very cool yeah like the map just lights up with dots yeah it's, and it's free yeah so just for example around the columbia south carolina area there's like eight different courses yeah this has been our favorite so far yeah so we're gonna play this again but this time we're gonna take you along with us and show you a little bit about our newest hobby disc golf <laughs> And it looks like Leslie's found the rough on her first shot oh, yeah, there. It's rough, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet on the course. She's got to go through this. 
to get to the hole. <laughs> See how she does. It's laid up, laid up. We just finished up our disc golf and it was too hot to wow. vlog outside <laughs> after that. We were so we waited till we got back, but a lot of fun. Yes. We uh, shot one round and filmed and then we just shot another round so we could just yeah. shoot through and have fun. But um, yeah, if you play disc golf, let us know. Yeah. If you play and if you like it and if you don't play and you would like to try, let us know if we have inspired you to try <laughs> disc golf. Yeah. Um, you can get these discs at any of your local sporting goods stores. Uh, we got ours at a place called Play It Again Sports. Yeah. You can get them at Dick's or Academy or, yeah. or you can get them online on uh, Amazon. Yeah, we'll see if we can find a link to some you know, starter kits with the three discs and put them up there. We wanted ours immediately, so we went right to the store. Otherwise, yeah. we would have ordered through Amazon. Mm -hmm. That's all you need. Um, you might want to, and we might want to also get um, just an extra set of the starter kit in case we lose a disc. When he says we, he means me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we would need another putter. I don't think you'll lose a putter. No, I don't think I'll lose a putter. Because you're always so close that you're not going to lose a putter. I'm going to lose something as a driver. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, I promise no skill. Is, is necessary to play. <laughs> I have living just, proof of that. <laughs> it's just fun to go out and it's not yeah. really, it's, it's really one of those things where you can compete against yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, so you could go out by yourself and have a good time with it. I'm looking forward to finding uh, more courses yeah. as we travel mm -hmm. and get to see all these different places. Because places that we would have never gone to. Yeah. Like we would have never gone to this park. No, we wouldn't have. But since there was a disc golf course there, we went. Mm -hmm. And it was fun. So I hope you enjoyed watching that. Get out there and play some disc golf. <laughs> <laughs> we are at yet another NASCAR track. A historic track. Yeah, we're at the Columbia Speedway. And you might be asking yourself, self, <laughs> where is the Columbia Speedway? Well, it's in Columbia, of course. Uh, which it, Columbia? Yeah, Columbia, South Carolina. <laughs> it's no longer a NASCAR track. No. They raced here from the early 50s to the early 70s. Yeah, we weren't born yet. No. And this thing was shut down. It used to be dirt. And when NASCAR mm -hmm. was racing dirt, this was one of the ones that was on the circuit. Twice, Twice a, a year. year. Yeah, yeah, they raced here. Big names. Mm -hmm. Big names. Huge. Huge. <laughs> Richard Petty won his first race right here. That's at pretty cool. Speedway. Very cool piece of history. Yeah. And he was the last person to win a race at this racetrack also in 1971. He won the last two races here, by the way. Um, yeah, it used to be dirt, and they raced here from early 50s to early 70s. Uh, Tim Flock, Buck Baker, Ned Jarrett, Bobby Allison, um, Ralph Earnhardt, Lee Petty, Richard Petty. Or, what, oh, yeah. Was it not the same? Pretty much the same people that were at the Okanichi. Yeah, because the Okanichi it was the same speedway. circuit. Yeah, they yeah. were they were the same guys who were racing the same time frame. Yeah. So if you didn't see the Okanichi Speedway video that we did, we'll put a link up here somewhere so that you can go see that. And and I do want to thank John yeah. for letting us come because it is private property. It is not open to the public, but no. he gave us special permission to come on the grounds today yeah and, and so thank video. you for that john because we yeah. pulled up and there was no trespassing sign I was like dang so i called the number on the website and he was gracious enough to let us come gave us some history too yeah which was good a lot of the stuff i just told you i learned from, <laughs> from john <laughs> so thank you for that we appreciate that
Well, now we are sitting on the track, mm -hmm. on the banking of the track, which would be turn four, four. coming yeah. out of turn three into turn four. Mm -hmm. And some of the metal guardrails over there, we're gonna go look at that in a second. But what I really wanted to show you was the guardrail behind us. It's wood. It's made out of wood. That's it, wood. That's it. A wood plank. Yeah, it's a insane. car, go right through that thing. Yeah, but I'm there, sure many did. You can't see it because it's so grown up, but when you get up close, you can see the red and white different ones yeah. uh, of wood. And then we'll go over here and we will, um, we'll look at the metal grid around the other side. Oh, now okay. we're hanging out on the back stretch. Mm -hmm of Columbia Speedway and you can see the metal guardrails that I was talking about and uh, I can't imagine zooming through here at however fast they were going yeah and hitting one of those guardrails because mm -hmm. you would probably go through it yeah mm. <laughs> <laughs> we can't find anywhere where it says how long of a track this is but I assume it's about a half mile it looks equivalent to what a Bristol would be like yeah. Because uh, the grandstands on the other side, it seemed like when they were there, it just wouldn't be a bad seat in the house. You'd be able to see the whole track. Yeah. And when we were talking about the track being too fast, um, if you know at Bristol, the banking is like high banking. Yeah. To slow those race cars down. But here... It's not It's not high here. It's like yeah. this. Banking is not high. <laughs> it's very minimal. So even back then when the cars weren't as fast, they were still moving out going into these curves. Yeah. And if there's no banking to slow them down... Uh, especially if you lose a little grip or something, you're going over the edge over yeah. there, man. Down into whatever down there. Um, but another cool thing that we learned was that they used to race here every Thursday night. Mm -hmm. And the reason that they used to race here Thursday night wasn't a part of the NASCAR circuit, but it was just like a local thing that they did. Yeah. Uh, because Fort Jackson, South Carolina is really close to here. Mm -hmm. And so the soldiers used to get paid on Thursdays. Mm -hmm. So they would hold a race on Thursday night. So the soldiers would come out, watch the race, spend their money here. Which <laughs> anybody who's been affiliated with the military knows. <laughs> if you don't get them before the weekend. <laughs> that's right. You give a soldier money, it's gone in 24 hours. So that's why they jumped on that on yeah. Thursday night. So smart by them. And another <laughs> cool part of that was that um, a lot of the guys who lived close around here, like mm -hmm. you know Ralph Earnhardt, Lee Petty, uh, the Allisons, they would come out and race on Thursday nights. Uh, on their way to the NASCAR race or before they headed off to go to the NASCAR race for the weekend. Yeah. So it was cool that the soldiers yeah, locally got to, got see, to some see some NASCAR stars. Drivers. Yeah, yeah very cool. cool. Lucky them. Yeah, let's go see the rest. Okay. You can see behind me the support structures for what was the grandstands and there's some on this side and on the other side over here even more which is all on the front front stretch of the racetrack and uh, in its heyday it said it held a maximum of 6,000 fans so very cool stuff well now we are standing uh, right beside the start finish line yeah where so much NASCAR history was made yeah Richard Petty won seven of his 200 NASCAR races right here at mm -hmm. Columbia Speedway. And another fun fact that John told us that we'll share with you is that um, when it was a dirt track, this is the first track that um, slick tires were ever used Yeah. on a dirt track. Ned Jarrett is the one that tried it and it was just, it was so compacted, the dirt was so hard that it was much like concrete. concrete. So Ned Jarrett said, well, I'm gonna try to put slicks on my car and see what happens. He put slicks on his race car lapped every car in the entire field and won the race so uh it was a pretty good move there by ned <laughs> yeah but thanks again john for letting us come out here yes, and hang out you. at columbia speedway um if you're in the columbia south carolina area and there is an event coming going on out here definitely take advantage and, and come, come out here it. and see the columbia speedway especially if you're a nascar fan yeah so much history out here very cool mm -hmm. um not a ton to see no. but uh just filled with history yeah very cool you can feel it yeah.
But the RV park that we're staying at, there's a duck pond. Mm -hmm. And you can feed the animals, the ducks. There's some geese out here. As they're coming right now. And as soon as we come on, to, yeah, as soon as we come onto the little porch here. The turtles are gathering, the geese yep, are coming. Automatically. I guess they feel the <laughs> vibration in the, well, the geese can see us, but yeah. the turtles and fish, they'll see the vibration. There's a bunch of little catfish that are like this big. Yeah. We came out here before and fed them, but we didn't bring the camera. So got the camera today. Yeah. As I'm talking, you can see all the little Everybody's turtle heads just in. coming this way. <laughs> so we got some cat food, and we are gonna feed all the, the creatures. Yeah. And we'll show you. And of course, we have Scout out here to help us feed all the critters. <laughs> I don't know what he thinks about them. He's like up on his. He's like up on his paws, highly intent on watching these animals. <laughs> what do you think, Scout? <laughs> Well, I had, I think I had more fun in Colombia than I thought we would have. Yes. Agreed. Not expecting there to be that much cool stuff to do in Colombia. Yeah. There'd been cooler, more cooler stuff if stuff would have been open. Yeah. So even with stuff closed, I was surprised at the amount of cool stuff that we were able to yeah. do. Yeah. And the park that we stayed in was really great. Yeah. I did like that place. That's it from Colombia. That's the wrap. And now we're off to Savannah. You expecting me to sing? Yes, I am. <laughs> Savannah, ooh, na, na. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't let you down. Mm. Well, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. Mm -hmm. We appreciate you so much for watching. Yeah. We'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.